Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Franklin High School for Ashland Sevens, Massachusetts Independent League Baseball as they take a 9-3 and three Franklin. And we are set to get underway. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. Stepping in is Mason Dushney, the second baseman. Liam Daly, the pitcher for Franklin, is set to deal. Number one down low to start things off. One and oh, big matchup here tonight at Franklin High School. Two of the top teams in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Of course, Ashland and Natick hopping around. They're the zone six teams to join the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League with the cancellation of the Legion season. Especially fouls one away. And one is the count. Take you through the lineup in just a moment. Ashland red hot since their loss against Milton. Wind up in the pitch. In there, four strike two, one and two. Played on fire, of course, behind the pitcher's mound with the COVID 19 rules. Wind up and the pitch. Okay. Down low, keeping up the count at two and two. Lineup for Ashland, Mason Dushney, the second baseman, leading things off. Sam Farrell, the center fielder, batting second. Jackson Horning, the shortstop, hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder, hitting fifth. Lawrence Tang, the DH, hitting sixth. Isaac Curley, the catcher, hitting seventh. Shea Donovan. Is the third baseman hitting eighth. The pressure will go down by way of the K. They'll bring Sam Farrell. Get a Sam. Get it started, Sam. Nolan Ratcliffe is the pitcher tonight for the Ashland Sevens. Sam Farrell will step in. Nice night here at Franklin High School. The sun's starting to peek through. It's been a relatively cloudy day with some scares. Of potential rain earlier, but it looks like it will stay away from us and keep north, so we should be able to get the full game in tonight. And one and O count to Sam Farrell. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this up the left side and left field it goes. And that is going to be a one out single for Sam Farrell. Love to bring up Jackson Horn on the shortstop. Come on, Jack. Seven's bats have been rolling as of late. Jackson Hornung, a big threat, will step into the batter's box right now. Let's take you through the Franklin Diamond. Liam Daly is on the mound. Jake Mackey behind the plate. James Flores, the first baseman. Kevin Valera, the second baseman. Jake Fitzgibbons, the shortstop. First pitch to Hornung is in the fourth round. Third baseman is James Kuzmiak. From left to right, Will Pacheco, Scott Elliott, and Ryan Garrett. For nine and three, Franklin. Set to deliver is Daly. Line up and the pitch. That is going to be ball one. Franklin led by head coach Joe Mackey. The Ashland Sevens, of course, led by head coach Jake Ovid. Second season at the helm. Daly's set to deliver. Okay. Two. On first, one out for the sevens. As the lights start to come on here at Franklin High School. Nice facility over here. They have a number of little league games going on around us. Checking out first one who slides back safe. season tonight, 15 to nothing. They're off to the playoffs. We'll certainly have as much coverage as possible of Hopkinton Senior Ruth playoffs as Jake Mackey is going to have a discussion with Liam Daly. We'll call time. Conference on the mound. As Jackson Horn step back in. 
One on, one out for the sevens. And as usual, has been hitting the ball very well. And he'll take the walk here. Two on, one out. Well, Dom Kavanaugh stepping to the plate. Jackson Horn and coming in to tonight. A 429 batting average, 526 on base percentage. As for Dom Kavanaugh, who's stepping in right now. A 310 batting average, 400 on base percentage. Cleanup man hoping to do some damage here. Both RBIs for Kavanaugh, and five runs scored, and he will take one and oh. He's on first and second. No outs for the sevens here in the top of the first. Liam Daly from the stretch, and this is it. Up the middle, right to the shortstop, throw to second, and they get the double play. A six to four double play will wrap up the top of the first. To the bottom of the first we go. Franklin coming up to the plate. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Baseball on HCAM and Hopkins in WACA TV in Ashland or HCAT in Holliston. Top of the second inning. The Sevens coming back up to the plate. Five, six, and seven do up. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Lawrence Tang, the DH, and Isaac Curley, the catcher, to face Liam Daly, the pitcher for Franklin take you through the Franklin Diamond again, just since we had those audio difficulties in the top of the first. Liam Daly, the pitcher. Jake Mackey, the catcher. James Flores, the first baseman. Kevin Barrera, the second baseman. Jake Fitzgibbons, the shortstop, right to third. And the throw to first is going to be not a problem. A five to three out as Kuzmiak did a good job keeping the foot on the bag. That'll bring up Lawrence Tang. Jake Fitzgibbons, the shortstop. James Kuzmiak, the third baseman, left to right for Franklin, Will Pacheco, Scott Elliott, and Ryan Garrity. As Tang steps in. And he'll get a piece of this up the left side, off the glove of the third baseman, and that'll trickle through. Difficult play to make. I'm going to score that one a single. That'll bring up Isaac Curley, the catcher. Daly set to deal. There's ball one to Curley. Line up and the pitch. There's ball two. Let's take a look at the standings in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Ashland at 11 and 1, all alone at the top. Medfield on their heels at 11 and 2. Braintree nine and three, Milton nine and four, Franklin nine and three. Now that pitch down low, three and zero. Oh. Natick eight and five, Walpole seven and four, Quincy seven and five. Hyde Park five and eight. Here's the two one pitch. Canton is five and seven. And now that'll make it three and one. Plymouth is four and eight, Norwood four and nine. Needham is three and nine. Westwood two and nine. Dedham two and nine. Kingston one and ten. And there's a walk to Curley. Two on, one out. Shea Donovan, the third baseman, to the plate. Ray Donovan steps in, set to face Liam Daly. 231 average on the season. This is hit in the air, right side, and caught by the first baseman. Both runners will hold. James Flores makes the catch, two away. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese. Nick Calabrese has been a red hot towards the bottom of the Batting order, a 656 batting average, 692 on base percentage, 
21 hits overall on the season, all of them singles. Nine RBIs, 13 runs scored, and five walks. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike one. Calabrese all season long has been in that ninth spot and he has been very good in that ninth spot, which is why I think Coach Obed certainly hesitant to move him. Throw to second, runner slides back safe. Tang nearly got caught there, but no throw over by Daly. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. Throw to second and Tang is back to the bag. Oh and two. Jake Mackey the catcher trying to catch Tang sleeping. Calabrese steps back in to the left-handed batter's box. Line up and the pitch, and that'll get away from the catcher, and both runners will advance, but it doesn't matter. The umpire says it hit Calabrese, so he'll get the pass to first. That'll load up the bases, and now top of the order for the sevens. Mason Dushney, the second baseman, to step in. Bases loaded, two outs for the sevens. Mason Dushney at a 290 batting average on the season, 378 on base percentage. And he'll take that one low. One and O. Oh. Sevens had two base runners last inning. And now this inning, three more. We'll see if they could turn it into any runs. Dushney struck out to start things off in the first. And he'll take a strike there. One and one. Daly set to deal. And this is going to be hit up the middle past the reach of the third baseman. One run is into score. It's an RBI single for Dushney. Lawrence Tang comes around to score the first sevens run of the game. Isaac Curley up to third, Calabrese to second, Sam Farrell to the plate. A one nothing sevens lead here in the top of the second. Sam Farrell on the season, a 320 batting average, 595 on base percentage. Takes a nice breaking pitch for strike one. Oh and one. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and one. The speedy center fielder steps back in. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this, past the dive of the third baseman. Here comes another sevens run, Calabrese being waved around. He'll score as well, and it's a three nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. A two RBI single for Sam Farrell. Dushney up to second, Curly around to score, Calabrese around to score. And now Jackson Hornung to the plate. The sevens bat staying hot here in Franklin. As we'll have a discussion on the mound. Now Coach Obid will take the opportunity to chat with Hornung. Jackson Hornung, a 429 batting average heading into tonight. 526 on base percentage. 12 hits overall on the season. 14 runs driven in, 15 runs scored. And seven walks. Big opportunity here with two on, two outs, three runs in for the sevens. 
Daily deals. Ball one. Brendan Grover over at first base for the sevens as he is coaching his runners. The next pitch is a ball to Hornung. Coach Obit, of course, over on the third base side. Farrell on first, Dushney on second. Daily deals down low. 3-0 and oh on Hornung. Tom Cavanaugh do up next. Shall Hornung reach? Line up and the pitch. Down low, Hornung will indeed reach. And that'll reload the bases for the sevens and bring up Tom Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh grounded out last inning, 4 out, number three. And now another discussion on the mound as Joe Mackey will bring his infield in. Dom Cavanaugh on the season, a 310 batting average, 400 on base percentage. One home run to his credit, 12 RBIs and five runs. The Sevens have batted around here in this second inning. Daly set to deliver. Down low. One and oh on Kavanaugh. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Two and oh. Three nothing lead for the sevens here in the top of the second. Wind up and the pitch. Kavanaugh gets a good piece of this one into right field it goes. That'll drop down, one run is in. Here comes another run to score. That'll make it a five to nothing lead. A two RBI single for Dom Kavanaugh. Mason Dushney and Sam Farrell waved around and the sevens continue to rally here in the second inning. And now it looks like we may have a pitching change and we indeed will. That'll be it for Liam Daly. He'll head over to the bench with Kevin Balowitz coming up next. A five nothing lead for the sevens. Franklin will have an early pitching change here at Franklin High School, and we'll take a timeout. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. New pitcher for Franklin is Mason Reed. He is at a Catholic Memorial, graduated this past spring, and he is just about set to face Kevin Balowitz. Five runs in for the sevens. All five have scored here in this top of the second. And this is going to be hit in the air, foul territory behind the plate and caught by the catcher, Jake Mackey, for the third out. But the Ashland Sevens get the bats fired up and they plate five runs and they lead it five to nothing as we head to the bottom of the second on HCAM, HCAT, and WACA TV. Bottom of the second inning, six, seven, and eight do up for Franklin. Jake Fitzgibbons, Kevin Barrera, and Will Pacheco. Owen Ratcliffe, the pitcher for the sevens, has a nice five nothing lead to work with. Into this bottom of the second, wind up and the pitch. Down low, one and zero. Oh. Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera on this beautiful night here at Franklin High School. The sun has pretty much set for the most part and the lights are on. 
7.30 start time for this game. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs there. Two and O. Oh. Owen Radcliffe has really been the ace of this sevens pitching staff this season. Leg lift and the pitch. Little outside, three and oh. Radcliffe set to deliver. Ball four, four pitch walk to Jake Fitzgibbons. It'll bring up Kevin Barrera, the second baseman. Lefty steps in. Ashland will have a makeup game tomorrow evening over at Ashland Middle School against Kingston. We'll be there for the broadcast as this is hit in the air over to left center. And ranging to his right is Kevin Balowitz to make the catch. One away. Now bring up Will Pacheco, the left fielder. And on Sunday, Ashland will wrap up regular season play in Medfield. And then it will be Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoff time. Radcliffe working from the stretch with one out and one on. He deals. Little inside there, one and oh. Radcliffe looks at first, slight lead by the runner, and he delivers. Down low, and it gets away from Curley, advancing to second on the pass ball is Fitzgibbons. A 2-0 count on Pacheco. It's almost like it came out of Curley's glove and he couldn't find it for a second. There's a strike, two and one. Radcliffe from the stretch. Looks at second and deals. A little outside says the home plate umpire, three and one. Radcliffe looks in, takes a peek at second and delivers. There's a strike, it'll fill up the count. Throwback by Curley gets away briefly from Radcliffe. Second time that's happened. Coach Obid wants some time. I think he wants to check in on Curley and Radcliffe about those exchanges. And Curley is pointing at his throwing arm. And it looks like we may end up having a change here by the sevens. Jackson Hornung ran back to the bench. And Curley seems to be in some stress. It looks like Jackson Hornung may take over his catcher for the sevens. So Horning's gonna move over from shortstop to behind the plate. Isaac Curley will come out of the game in some distress and will have a new shortstop as well for the sevens. I wanna say that was Nick Larsh who ran in there to take over. And Nick Larsh did indeed run in there except he will take over at second base. Mason Dushney will move over to shortstop. Certainly hope Isaac Curley's okay. He's been rock solid behind the plate for the sevens, but 
He had some trouble throwing back to the mound, and then he was pointing at that throwing arm. Coach Obed noticed there was an issue, went out there to check on him, and he came out of the game. So Mason Dushney at shortstop. Nick Larsh will play second base and take Curley's spot in the batting order. And Jackson Hornung moves over from shortstop to catcher. And Hornung, of course, with plenty of experience behind the plate throughout the majority of his high school years. Was the catcher for the Clockers of Ashland. And now he will do the same here for the sevens. A full count on Will Pacheco, the left fielder. I think Isaac Curley was trying to get at least through the inning, but realized that he couldn't. Radcliffe working from the stretch. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air, and it is going to be Caught by Kavanaugh, two away. Kavanaugh catching the ball right in front of the sevens bench area, and that'll bring up James Kuzmiak, the third baseman. As we have a nice sunset off in the distance here at Franklin High School. One on, two outs for Franklin. Ninth man in the batting order, James Kuzmiak making his first plate appearance. And he'll foul that one away. Oh and one. Well, it's certainly important to have someone else you can rely on behind the plate for situations like this. And Coach Obid certainly is fortunate to have Jackson Hornung, one of the premier athletes around the area. As that one gets away from him, as I jinx him, and Fitzgibbons advances the third. One and one, the count on Kuzmiak. Runner on third for Franklin, two outs in the inning. The Ashland Sevens leading five to nothing after a five run top half of the second. And Radcliffe needs some time. Working from the stretch. Leg lift and the pitch, and this is ripped up the left side, but right to the third baseman, throw to first, not a problem. Shea Donovan with a nice play and a nice throw across for out number three to the top of the third we go. The Sevens leading Franklin five to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Top of the third inning, Lawrence Tang steps in and takes ball one. Six, seven, and eight do up for the Sevens. Lawrence Tang, Nick Larsh, and Shea Donovan. And Tang gets a piece of this one hit in the air over to center field, and it's caught by a diving Scott Elliott. One away. That'll bring up Nick Larsh, the second baseman. Tang certainly thought he was going to have a base hit on that one, but a good effort there by Scott Elliott in center field as Mason Reed is set to deal. The first pitch is ball one. Wind up and the pitch. A little high there. Two and oh. Reed set the deal. Outside. Three and oh. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Right, 
There's a walk for Nick Larsh. He's aboard with one out. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. One on, one out for the sevens. Line up and the pitch. Outside, says the umpire. One and O. Oh. He deals slightly high there. Here's the 2-0, and this is up the left side foul. The 2-1 from Reed. Little ins and a called strike, late call there, two and two. Larsh with a slight lead at first. Line up and the pitch. And this is going to be hit up the middle. Glove by the shortstop, throw to second for one, throw to first. Is not gonna be in time. So Shea Donovan will reach on the six to four force out. Two away, and that'll bring up Nick Calabrese. So far in this game, Nick Calabrese has been hit by a pitch and scored one of the five runs as part of that five run top of the second for the sevens. Line up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one. Hit high in the air, left side, and it is caught by the shortstop, Jake Fitzgibbons, who ranges back to make the catch, and that'll wrap up the top half of the third. To the bottom of the third we go. The Ashland Sevens leading Franklin five to nothing on HCAM, WACA TV, or HCAT in Holliston. Bottom of the third inning, a five nothing lead for the Sevens. Top of the order for Franklin, Scott Elliott, the center fielder, Ryan Garrity, the right fielder, and Jake Mackey, the catcher. Radcliffe set to deliver. Line up and the pitch. And there's a ball, one and O. Oh. Radcliffe looks on, the leg lift and the pitch. There's a called strike, one and one. Radcliffe shakes off the sign and it is set to deal. Swing and a miss. One and two. Well, in order for Franklin to have a chance at first place, they must win this game here tonight, at least as far as the regular season is concerned. And then they must also win out and have Ashland lose another one. The count now two and two. Radcliffe set to deal. Leg lift and the pitch. Upstairs, that'll fill up the count. Ashland at 11 and one. Medfield uh, their biggest threat with that 11 and two record. Of course, if Ashland wins out, they control their own destiny. And there is strike three, out number one. Ryan Garrity will step in, the right fielder. Radcliffe set to deal, wind up and the pitch, fouled away.
The 0-1. They lift and the pitch. And there's strike two, 0 oh and two. Oh, and Radcliffe only one strikeout so far tonight. And that was the last hitter, Scott Elliott. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit up the middle past the reach of Dushney into center field it goes. A one out single for Garrity. That'll bring up Jake Mackey, the catcher, who had a double in his only plate appearance back in the first inning. Well, this is the dangerous part of the batting order for this Franklin team. And they are hoping to put some runs on the board as they find themselves trailing Ashland five to nothing. Time is called by the hitter. Radcliffe from the stretch. Down low, one and oh. Radcliffe takes a long look in and is set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to right center and in front of Calabrese, it'll drop two on one out. Garrity up to second, Mackey to first, and now the cleanup man, J.B. Flores, the first baseman to the plate. He walked back in the first inning. And Franklin has something going here in the bottom of the third. Radcliffe from the stretch. Looks at second and deals. And this is up the left side. Glove by the third baseman. He'll step on third for one. Throw to first. Off the mark, but he did get the lead runner. So J.B. Flores reaches on the five unassisted force out. Two away. That'll bring up Matt Peterson, the D.H. Nice job by Shea Donovan there, being aware of the situation, stepping on that third base bag and then trying to launch the throw across for the double play. Radcliffe looks at second and now deals. Down low. Two on, two outs for Franklin. Inside. Two and oh. Hard to believe just two more games after this one for the Sevens in regular season play. It's pretty much 15 games crammed into about 24 days for the Sevens. Quick moving season as this is fouled away. Two and one. They will indeed have league playoffs. With I believe half the teams going. But of course the higher seed, the more advantage you get. And the Ashland Sevens trying to finish with that top seed. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Three and one on Peterson. Radcliffe from the stretch. He deals. And that is fouled off, full count. Jamie Flores at first, Jake Mackey at second. Two outs for Franklin. The decisive pitch fouled away. Count remains full.
Radcliffe from the stretch. He deals, and this is hit in the air over to right center, and that is going to get over the fence, and it'll be a ground rule double and score a run for Franklin. That nearly got out of the ballpark. Some good power displayed by Matt Peterson. And Jake Mackey comes around. J.B. Flores up to third, and it's a five to one game. Jake Fitzgibbons, the shortstop, will step up to the plate. So Franklin gets their first run of the day as there's strike one to Fitzgibbons. Fitzgibbons walked in his only plate appearance last inning. Radcliffe looks at third and delivers. Slightly outside, one and one. Radcliffe shakes off the first sign and now is set to deal. He delivers. There's a strike, one and two. Lined up and the pitch, fouled away. Count remains one and two. Radcliffe from the stretch. Looks at second. Now takes a peek at third and deals, and this is hit in the air and foul. Count remains one and two. Radcliffe deals, and he got him. Out number three, and K number two for Owen Radcliffe. But Franklin does play to run. It is a five to one Ashland Sevens lead as we head to the top of the fourth. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Top of the fourth inning, a five to one Ashland Sevens lead over Franklin. Top of the order for the Sevens, Mason Dushney steps in. Mason Reed out there for another inning of work as he came in in the second inning to relieve starter Liam Daly who struggled. Liam Daly went two and two thirds of an inning, giving up five hits and five runs, all of which were earned as Dushney will take ball one, one and one. Line up and the pitch. Dushney gets a good piece of this one over to right field, and it is going to be dropped by the right fielder, Garrett. Dushney heading over to second, and he is aboard. And I think since that was right in the glove of Garrett, you got to give that one an error as much as I hate to do so. And it looks like Mason Dushney might have got shooken up running over to second base. Coach Obit out to talk with him. Could be a hamstring issue. And I'm being told by Louis Dennison it may be an ankle injury as Dushney has had some trouble in the past with his ankle. It does look like he is going to stay in the game. But Mason Dushney, it was a good piece of hitting there, but Ryan Garrity got right under it. And I don't know if he lost it in the lights, but it just fell right out of that glove. That'll bring up Sam Farrell with a runner on second for the sevens to start things off here in the top of the fourth. 
And it looks like we're going to have a new pitcher as well for Franklin. So we'll step aside and fill you in on who the new pitcher is. Top of the fourth, Ashland leading Franklin 5-1 on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. All kinds of changes for Franklin. James Kuzmiak moves over from third base to take over on the mound. Moving from first to third is James Flores, and then Matt Peterson, who was the DH, takes over at first base as Lawrence Tang to the plate, and he'll get a good piece of this one into right center. That'll drop down for a hit. Here comes Horning around to score. Kavanaugh is going to be held up at third, an RBI single for Lawrence Tang. And a Belmont Hill, the Hopkinton native, driving in the eighth run of the day for the Ashland Sevens. Bases remain loaded for the Sevens, and Nick Larsh will step to the plate. Still no outs in the inning. Cody Trotton did not last very long. And was not able to record an out in the inning. Struggled to find the plate as he walked four hitters and hit one. And this is hit in the air by Larsh, high in the air. Over to center field, it's caught. Runner from third, Kavanaugh going to tag, and he will score. A sacrifice RBI fly out for Nick Larsh. And it's a 9-1 sevens lead. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Runners on first and second for the sevens. One out, four more runs in for Ashland here in this fourth inning. Kuzmiak set to deal, down low. Kuzmiak looks at second and delivers, upstairs. Two and O. Oh. Nick Calabrese do up next for the sevens. Shea Donovan today has flown out and reached on a force out. Wind up and the pitch inside. Three and O. Oh. Walk here would load the bases for the sevens. Wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike, three and one. Kuzmiak set to deliver. Fouled away, that'll fill up the count. Kuzmiak from the stretch. He winds, he deals, fouled away. The battle with Shea Donovan continues. Leg lift and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number two. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese, the right fielder. Well, uh, good job battling back there by James Kuzmiak after he fell behind three and O. Oh. But Nick Calabrese, who's been red hot with the bat lately, stepping into the left-handed batter's box. He's 0 for 1 today, was hit by a pitch in the second inning, also scored a run. Down low. Well, look low, but a called strike. I think this, uh, it's safe to say this home plate umpire has a relatively low strike zone. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss, so and two. 
The Ashland Sevens leading Franklin nine to one. We're in the top of the fourth. 7.30 start time to this one tonight. This game nearly an hour and a half old. And this is hit up the left side foul. Count remains 0 and 2. Kuzmiak set to deliver. And Calabrese makes contact up the right side. Into right field it goes. Lead runner going to be waved around. The throw is going to be cut off. And another sevens run scores as Balowitz slides safely into home plate. It's 10-1. to A good piece of hitting there by Nick Calabrese. An RBI single. Tang up to second. Calabrese to first, and now Mason Dushney to the plate. A 10 to one lead for the Sevens. This is their second five run inning of the game. And there's a strike, or excuse me, a ball. High pitch there. Dushney one for three today. A singled, reached on an area and struck out. Did score two runs and has driven in a run. Another infield conference by Franklin. Well, maybe uh, they need to implement some of those game speed rules into the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. This is about the fifth mound conference of the inning. It's almost looking like a Red Sox-Yankees game out there. As Mason Dushney set to step in. A one and oh count on the second baseman. Checking at second, runner slides back. Calabrese on first, Tang on second. 10 to 1 lead for the Sevens. Kuzmiak set to deliver. Upstairs, 2 and 0. Oh. Sam Farrell do up next. Shall Dushney reach? Two outs in the inning. Line up and the pitch. Down low, 3 0. Oh. Walk here would reload the bases for the Sevens. I believe it would be the third time in the inning if the bases do get reloaded that they weren't loaded and then got loaded again. Kuzmiak deals, upstairs, and the bases are reloaded for the sevens. Sam Farrell will step to the plate. He is two for two today with a walk. He has scored two runs and driven in two. Big opportunity here for the center fielder to break this game even further open. Line up and the pitch. And ball one to Farrell. A little low there. Kuzmiak deals. There's a called strike. One and one. Sam Farrell. At the plate now, if he shall reach, Jackson Hornung will come up to the plate. Couldn't hold, there's a strike, one and two. Line up and the pitch. 
Down low, well defended by the catcher, Jake Mackey. Two and two. Light up and the pitch, swing and a miss, and that is out number three. We will head to the bottom of the fourth, but the Ashland Sevens plate five more runs, and they lead it 10-1 to one over Franklin. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball on HCAM, WACA-TV, or HCAT. Bottom of the fourth inning, a 10-1 to one lead for the Sevens after a Five run, top of the fourth. Owen Radcliffe with a long rest between innings as Kevin Barrera steps in, the second baseman. And he will take ball one, one and oh. Well, the Ashland Sevens have had some lengthy games this season and if this one goes all seven, it'll be right up there. There's a strike, one and one. Already an hour and a half old. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Down low. Three and one. Outside, there's a walk. That well, was a long rest for Radcliffe and sometimes that could negatively affect pitchers. If they have a long break between innings, and we'll see what Coach Obid does here. Well, Pacheco set to step in. Well, Franklin, one of the better lineups in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, and Radcliffe has won some good battles here tonight. And we'll see if he can Get back to his consistent self as Pacheco steps in. Wind up and the pitch, down low. He deals outside. Oh, and Radcliffe may be having a little trouble finding the strike zone now. One on, no outs for Franklin. Swing and a miss. Wind up and the pitch. Hit high in the air, left center, and it is caught. One away. Nice catch by Balowitz, showing off some good range there. That'll bring up James Kuzmiak, who started off the game at third base and took over on the mound. Radcliffe from the stretch. 
There's a strike. Radcliffe shakes off the sign and deals down low. One and one the count on Kuzmiak. Bottom of the fourth inning, a 10 to one lead for the sevens. Ratcliffe looks at first and deals. Up high, checking at first. Runner back safe. Two and one. Radcliffe deals. And this is hit in the air, caught by Kavanaugh. Two away. I'll bring up Scott Elliott, the center fielder. Radcliffe looks at first and deals. There's a strike, go and one. Elliott 0 for two today. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one, it is foul. 0 and two. Ashland Sevens got the bats going today. A five-run second inning, a five-run fourth inning. And they are in control as of right now. Up 10-1 to one here in the bottom of the fourth. Franklin, runner on, two outs. And this is up the middle and glove by the shortstop. And he has no play. Nice effort there by Dushney. Just could not... Get the throw off, but saves it from going into center field and perhaps being more trouble. A single for Elliott. Two on, two outs. Ryan Garrity to the plate. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away, 0 and 2. Radcliffe looks at second and deals. Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to center field and caught by Sam Farrell for the third out. To the top of the fifth we go. Ashland leading Franklin 10-1. to You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Top of the fifth inning, Jackson Hornung to start things off. Wind up and the pitch from Kuzmiak is going to be in there for strike one. Hornung, as usual, having a pretty good day at the plate. He has walked all three appearances. I'll take a ball there, one and one. Yeah. 
Kuzmiak set to deal. Down low. Two and one. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Three and one. Top of the fifth inning. If the sevens go up by 10 or more, and Franklin is unable to retaliate in the bottom of the inning, a chance to put the mercy rule into effect. As Hornung draws the walk. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. Cavanaugh, one for two on the day, was also hit by a pitch, has driven in two runs and scored a run. Pretty unbelievable when you think that it's the fifth inning and this is his fourth plate appearance. Outside. One and O oh is the count. Kuzmiak checks in at first. Hornung's taking off. Throw to second. He's in a pickle. Throw back to first. He's going to go back to second. He'll be tagged out. That is not what you want to do there. One away. So Hornung picked off and got caught in the pickle. If you're the sevens at this point, you just want to try to go up by at least 10 heading into the bottom of the fifth and put this game in the books, save your pitching. Down low. Two and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs. Especially since it seems Kuzmiak having trouble finding the strike zone. And Franklin already on their fourth pitcher of the game. They can't have much left. Another walk. Second straight walk, but only one on because Hornung got picked off. Kevin Balowitz will step in. Bellowitz so far on the day is 0 for 2. He did walk last inning and scored a run. As we continue on with the game, that seems like it never ends. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 0 and 1. Checking at first, runner back. Slight lead for Kavanaugh. Hit high in the air, left field, and could be trouble, but it, it's going to be dropped by the shortstop. Kavanaugh to second, and they'll throw him out. Well, Kavanaugh stopped in his tracks as he thought he would have to retreat, but it was dropped by the shortstop. So no harm there for Franklin. Alowitz reaches on the, we'll score that, a fielder's choice. And that'll bring up Lawrence Tang. Runner on first, two outs. Inside, one and oh. Upstairs, good eye there, two and oh. Wind 
Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Two and one. Check it at first, runner back safe. Good pick up, uh, pick off move there by Kuzmiak. Game approaching the two hour mark. Wind up and the pitch down low. Tang had an RBI single last inning. Singled and scored a run back in the second, flew out in the third. And he'll get a good piece of this one over to center field to the fence. And that is going to be a ground rule double. Tang absolutely annihilated that one. And it'll be runners on second and third. Balowitz on third, Tang on second, and Nick Larsh to the plate with two outs. That one was nearly out of the ballpark. Lawrence Tang showing off the power there. Down low. Well, now if Hornung doesn't get picked off, you get that run to go up by 10. And this is up the right side, past the dive of the first baseman, one run into score. Here comes Tang around to score, and it's a two RBI single for Nick Larsh. It's gonna be a 12 to one lead for the Ashland Sevens. What a great piece of hitting there by Larsh. And that'll bring up Shea Donovan. Down low. One and oh, the count on Donovan. He's 0 for three today. Reached a force out in the third. Has flown out and struck out. Checking at first. Larsh back safe. Just safe. Nearly got him. Well, if this game ends early, Nick Larsh will be the reason why as of this moment. Inside. Check it out first, runner back safe. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Two and one. And that pitch down low. Three and one as Kuzmiak starting to have some trouble finding the plate. A 12 to one lead for the sevens. They are looking to improve to 12 and one on this season. And this is a slow roller up the middle, picked up by the pitcher, throw to first, not a problem. But the sevens plate two runs and they lead it 12 to one as we head to the bottom of the fifth on HCAM, HCAT and WACA TV. Bottom of the fifth inning, Owen Ratcliffe out there to continue on as Jake Mackey steps in and takes ball one. 12 to one lead for the Ashland sevens. As they are looking to try to wrap this one up early tonight, but we shall see. 
pitch inside. Here's the 2 0. Inside, 3 and 0. Middle of the order for Franklin, the part of the order that's given Radcliffe the most trouble. Swing and a miss there, three and one. Three, four, and five to up. Mackey, Flores, and Peterson. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike that'll fill up the count. Radcliffe deals, strike three out number one. A nice pitch there. It'll bring up J.B. Flores. And Owen Radcliffe getting some words of encouragement from his fellow teammates, and he is set to deliver to the cleanup man. There's a strike, oh and one. Good call, Ump. Grab that inner corner on a nice pitch. And this is hit in the air, over to right field and caught. Nick Calabrese without number two. That'll bring up Matt Peterson, the DH. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. A nice deceptive pitch there from Radcliffe. There's a strike. The 0-2. Down low. Wind up and the pitch. Up the left side, foul. Count remains one and two. Leg lift and the pitch. Hit in the air, into right field it goes. And that'll get down for a two out single. And a throw in got away, but a nice block by Hornung. So two outs, runner on. Jake Fitzgibbons, the shortstop to the plate. At the two hour mark of this game here in the bottom of the fifth. Radcliffe working from the stretch. Ball one. From the stretch. Inside, says the home plate umpire. Radcliffe looks at first. And deals in the dirt.
Well, you know what they say, there's no clock in baseball. A 3-0 pitch. There's a strike, three and one. Kevin Barrera do up next, Shell Fitzgibbons reach. Radcliffe looks at first and delivers, swing and a miss, full count. Radcliffe from the stretch. And there's ball four. Two on, two outs. Kevin Barrera will step in. And this is hit in the air, left side, and caught for the out. Out number three, and that is going to do it. The mercy rule comes into effect, and the Ashland Sevens will collect the 12-1 to victory over Franklin. 12 runs on eight hits, no errors for the sevens. Franklin, a one run on five hits and two errors. A nicely pitched game by Owen Radcliffe and a great performance by the Ashland Sevens bats who all came through one way or the other tonight. Eight of the nine in the starting lineup had a hit in the game. An impressive performance tonight by the Ashland Sevens who were dominant all around. Ashland now 12 and one on this season. Franklin falls to nine and four. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for tuning in to Ashland Sevens Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA-TV in Ashland, or HCAT in Holliston. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. <laughs>